Hello all you future network administrators, this is Whalehater doing Packet Tracer 2, 2, 3, and the 4. This is the configuration of initial switch settings, and if you can read, you already know that. Alright, so let's get going on this Packet Tracer. This is basically the second video for course number one of the CCNA course certification. And we are going to get into PC1, I think is the first place we're going to go. Let's make this window just a tad bit smaller. Get out of this one, and if I could read myself, we're going to click S1. S1 is where we're going to start. Okay. Enter. Let's get into the enable. Just EN is fine. So we're going to go there. Notice the prompt change. Uh, let's see. Now it says show running config. Now if you just remember this command, show run, you'll be fine because run is enough of a unique command that it knows exactly what you want to do. But if you do show run, you can always hit the tab key and it'll auto complete the rest of that. Or get used to hitting that tab key. It's a lifesaver. So go ahead and enter and it'll give you as long as you hit the space bar well if you hit the enter key it'll go one line at a time if you hit the space bar it'll do like a page at a time so I always just hit the space bar all the way to the bottom and then I kind of page up to read what I want to read all right how many fast Ethernet interfaces does the switch have and that answer right there is 24 it's 24 how many gigabit Ethernet two what is the range shown for the VTY line? VTY lines. You have a range from 0 to 4 all the way up to uh, 5 to 15, so 0 to 15. Why does the switch respond with startup config is not present? Now that is right. Where is that? Do you guys see it? <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Maybe you've already saw it or fast forwarded it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Here's why, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Which command will display the current contents of the non volatile random. Okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't do the right command. Show n the ram. That'll show you what the contents is. Oh, okay. Show start. Show startup config. All right, there we go. NVRAM. <laughs> Sorry, took me a little bit to figure that one out. Okay, show startup config. That's the configuration that the switch will use when it turns on initially. Now. Why does it respond with startup config is not present? Well, what happens is, is if, if you haven't made any configuration changes to the, the configuration of the switch, if you haven't done anything to it and you didn't save it, all that information goes bye-bye. So before you do anything after you've made your changes, before you turn it off or walk away, always do a copy running configuration to startup configuration. So that saves it in the non volatile RAM. So it'll always be there, if, you know, unless the switch gets damaged somehow. All right, so we're going to start configuring some of the parameters here. Let's go to, I'll just backspace this, get out of there. And we're going to do configuration terminal. Conf T is fine. Enter. We're going to change our host name. Host name is going to be S one enter did that now let's exit exit to secure access to the console line access config line mode and set the console password to let me in now the console line is when you take that blue line we did in the last packet tracer oh well doesn't look like it's going to let us do it. But that console line, that console port is a weak spot on that, for security purposes anyway, a weak spot on that switch. So what you have to do is password protect it. 
So that is that line con zero. You can abbreviate here. And enter. Oh, configuration terminal. Line con zero. And that's going to get you to that line configuration mode right there. The password, the type password is let me in. Enter. Now we have to give the login command, otherwise that password is never going to uh, challenge the password prompts and we're going to challenge the user whoever logs in that login command will tell you hey if somebody tries to, to log in using the console port get a password from them before they go anywhere else let's exit out of that line configuration mode and I guess we want to exit out of that one too configured from console by console okay now we should be back to the user exec mode, or uh, excuse me, the privilege exec mode. Why is the login command required? Oh, I just answered that. Verify the console access is secured. So what we do is we exit out, and that's going to go to the startup screen. Now hit any key, basically, and it'll prompt you. Oh, I guess it has to be entered, whatever. From here, we're just going to give that password again. Let me in. Enter. Now we're back in. Pretty cool, right? Uh, user access verification is there. If the switch did not prompt you for a password, then you did not configure the login parameter in step two. Okay, so that's what that's for. Set the enable password to looks like an elite version of Cisco C1 dollar sign C0. And notice that it's a zero and not a capital O. Okay, so we'll do an enable command and we have to do configuration terminal enable enable password and it's C the number one dollar sign C zero enter. Okay, exit out of there. Verify that the privilege exec mode is accessed is secure. So all we have to do is just uh, exit out of that. So let's let let me in. Now we try to do the enable command enter. And it's going to prompt us for that password again. So it's C the number one dollar sign C zero enter. Now we're in. All right. The first password is the console password. That's line con zero. La la la. All right. Verify the configurations by examining the contents of the running configuration file. Now we do that by from the privilege exec mode. Say show run running config. Enter. I just hit that tab key. So right away you can see that the enable password's been set. There it is, right there. And we're going to just hit the space bar and get down to the bottom. That's where the line con zero. That's that first console prompt and that password is let me in and it will prompt you for that at the login. Okay. Configure an encrypted password to secure access to privileged mode. Now this is the secret command. This is an encrypted password command. Enable secret, not password, but secret. It's a secret. Enter. Exit out of there. Exit out of there. I know this is really redundant. Let me in. Enable. Now you can use uh, if there's two passwords configured, if there's a password and a secret, it's always going to prompt you for that secret password. You have to see it. Oh, it tells you that right here. Enable secret password overrides the enable password if both are configured on the switch. So you have to do the stronger encrypted one. So it's a secret. I hope I spelled that right. Hey, I did. Yay. Now let's do that show running config. Show run. You'll see here that there's our old password, the Cisco. And then up here is our it's a, I think it's MD5 or something like that, encrypted algorithm here. So that's your, it's a secret through, it's become hashed. 
what is displayed in the enable secret password? And you can just do a copy, paste. Why is the enable secret password displayed differently from what we configured? Well, of course, it's that it's encrypted with the, I think it's MD5 hash or whatever it is. All right, encrypt the enable and console passwords. As you notice in step seven, the enable secret password is encrypted, but the enable and console passwords were still in plain text. Yes, they were. How, or sorry, we will now encrypt these plain text passwords using the service password encryption command. Okay, so back into configuration mode. Okay, config T, and we're going to do the service tab, and just hit P, tab, and it'll auto-complete all that. Password encryption, enter. So instead of exiting, you can do a what's known as a do command. You can enter that, and that will dis that. Okay, let me just show you something. Show run, enter. And it, this command doesn't work in this global config mode, but here's another little thing that will save you lots of time. If you do a, if you enter a do command, it will force that command to run. So we're gonna do a show command, enter, and it'll it'll act like it's in that just the regular privileged exec mode versus the global configuration mode that we're in currently. You can see we're in global config mode, and normally that command doesn't work in global commit mode, but we made it work with the do command. So now you can see that right here, our password, which used to be Cisco, that leap from Cisco, it's been encrypted. Now it's not the same encryption as the up here, but it, it's, a, you know, it's a good, it's an okay encryption. Let's go down to the bottom, plain text password, encrypted now, there it is. If you configure any more passwords on the switch, will they be displayed in the configuration files plain text or in the encrypted form? Explain. Well, we can do, we'll do the line VTYs. Okay, so from here, go line VTY 0 to 4. Uh, let's do 15. Okay, enter. And we'll do a password there. Uh, password is, we'll just do dumb password. Password. Okay, and then login. Exit out. Uh, we can do a do show run. See here? Look at that. Ta da! It's also been encrypted on both of these. So it does a separate password between 0 and 4 and then 5 and 15, but it's the same password as you can see from the encryptions. And the reason it's done that is because we've issued the show or the service password encryption. So any password that we configure will now be encrypted. All right, banner of the day. Let's go to that. Let's issue the exit command to get out of the line configuration mode, and we're going back to the global configuration mode. Okay, let's let's just copy this. <laughs> I don't like using those delimiters, they're confusing. So we'll change it, copy. Actually, we can just do this whole, we'll just do that. Well, that's, da, 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 da. let's not make this too easy. So we're in config, we're in the global configuration mode. Let's do B-A-N, tab, banner, M, tab, message of the day. I like using the, the either the dollar signs or the double hashtags because it just seems a little cleaner. Let's get rid of those quotation marks using our arrows. All right, so now we have, this is a secure system, authorized access only, space. Enter. So, look at that. Got that done. We can do that do show run command. And you'll see that in here someplace, there it is, banner of the day, <clears throat> banner of the message of the day, rather. This is a secure system, authorized access only. When will this banner be displayed? And that's right at the login. I'll show you that. Exit. Exit. Okay. So this is as if we just booted up this uh, the switch. Let's hit enter right away. There is your, your challenge. 
this is a secure system, authorized access only. Now that might be there for legal reasons. Uh, you know, sometimes in some in some districts and some municipalities, if you don't explicitly tell somebody logging into your switch that they cannot log into your switch, then it is assumed that they have full reign and access to your switch. So in some states or cities or whatever, if you don't explicitly tell them, don't go in my system, stay out, then they have free ring. So don't ever, don't ever use a message of the day saying, please enter your password. Because even that is an invitation to enter a password in and, and come into your system. So say something like, you know, authorized access only, or this is a secure switch, do not enter, stuff like that. But other things that you could put in there is helpful information for you know system administrators, like um, system resets at 12 o'clock every night. This is a secure access system, do not access unless given authorization, stuff like that. Um, but just a little helpful information that people servicing the equipment might need to know about. But don't ever say, please enter password. All right, done preaching. What's next? Save the configuration. Let's log in. Oh crap, what was the, what's it let me in? Yeah. We want to save the configuration. We need to be in this one. What was it? Uh, it's a secret. We're in that. Now we're going to save the configuration style. Now, uh, copy running configuration to startup configuration. So what you're doing is you're taking the all the information that we just configured and we're taking that out of RAM, read readily accessible memory, and we're putting it into the non-volatile RAM by doing it uh, saving or copy the running configuration, the stuff we're, we did to the, you know, basically saving it to the, the flash memory. Well, it's not flash, it's, it's NVRAM. So to do that, we say copy R, you can just put copy R tab, running config, S tab, and you'll get the full command. Or what I do is cop R S. That's the shortest possible command you can possibly do. Works the same. It'll ask you destination file name, startup config. Do you want it to be called startup config? Yeah, I do. Enter. What is the shortest abbreviation form? Of course, that's COP R R S. Enter. Examine the uh, startup configuration file. What command will display the contents of NVRAM? Show startup config. Enter. And it'll show you everything in there. So show startup config. Are all the changes that were entered recorded in the file? Yeah, look, it's got our banner of the day, it's got our passwords, looks like they are encrypted. Up here, it's got both of our, yeah, everything's here, even the host name. Yep, everything's there. All right, so now we're going to configure S2. You've completed the configuration on S1, so good job on that. You will now configure S2. If you cannot remember the commands, but of course we do, refer to 1 through 4 for assistance. No, we don't need that. All right, let's bring up S2 and press enter. We want to go into the enable mode. And the very first thing we're going to do is go to configure terminal. And we're going to do our host name, S1. Oops, I don't want to do S1. I want to do S2. All right, protect access to the console line. So that is con uh, line con zero. And that will give us, let's see, we want to do a password of let me in, enter, and we want to give it the login command so that we make sure it gives us the prompt for entering that password. Let's get out of the line configuration mode, go back to global, and it says configure and enable password. So enable password of s1 dollar sign c0. Enter and then enable secret secret password of it's a secret. Enter. Configure a message to those logging into the switch that follows. Okay, so banner message of the day, and we're going to give our hashtag. Give a 
yeah, hashtag, and then let's just copy this right here. Copy, save ourselves some time, and let's do this next line here. Copy, space, paste, and then let's give ourselves that last hashtag. Enter. Oof. Encrypt all plain text passwords. All right, so that's that service password encryption. Enter. Ensure that the configuration is correct. Now, the way I like to do that is, since we're in our global config mode, see so the config, we're going to have to do, put in that do command, do show run. Looks like we've got our passwords, and they are encrypted. Enter down. Our banner of the day reads as it should. We've got our console password with the login command and everything should be good. Now let's save that to uh, we can do another do show. I keep saying do to do. It's not Mountain Dew is it? Do copy run start enter destination file name startup config. Yes. Let's do it. All right, so that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. We're always coming out with new videos like these, so please subscribe and we'll get you some help here in the future. Thank you very much for watching again and have a great rest of your whatever time of day it is there. Peace.